Hi everyone, uh, in this video we are going to see an important topic from psychology that is the methods of psychology. So in psychology, the psychologists are using different methods to study the human behavior or the cognitive processes. So we will see what are the various methods. The methods are introspection, observation, experimental method, case history or case study method, survey method, genetic or developmental method. So, we will see one by one, come to the first one, that is the introspection method. So, the word introspection, that means to look within us, okay. And it is otherwise called as the self-observation, internal observation or subjective observation. So, in this method, the subject or the individual will give their own experiences, they will give their own experiences. Say an example, the patient person is feeling pain. So, we will give an analgesic drug. After half an hour, if you are asking, okay, how are you feeling now? Then the person will be just thinking and saying that, okay, I am feeling or I am relaxed or my pain has been relieved. So, that is an introspection method. Now, we will see the merits and demerits of this particular method. So, if you see the merit or advantage, this method directly will get the information and it is an inexpensive or cheap method. And demerits, if you see, this method we cannot apply for children, mentally disturbed people, mentally retarded people and the experiences are unique that is why it cannot be repeated also. Come to the second method that is the observation method. So it is one of the basic method of psychology. Here the psychologist will observe the activities of another individual. So come to the advantages. So this one we can apply for children, mentally retarded people. Mentally, uh, if the person is mentally disturbed or psychiatric problem, that people also we can apply this particular method. And come to the demerits, it this method is little bit comparing with the introspection, it may be somewhat expensive while comparing with the time and uh, material. And here we can say that uh, the natural, it in a natural setting, will observe. So, the natural setting it occurs only one time. So, the lack of repeatability that also a problem in the observation method. Come to the third and important method that is the experimental method. So while coming to the experimental method, so the human behavior we will be studying under a control observation or a control setting. So the control setting may be a uh, laboratory or we will be making control of certain variables. So here in the experimental method, it is one of the important method. So here there are certain steps in this particular experimental method. It starts with a problem. That is the problem statement. So, after problem statement, we want to identify some certain variables. So, there we will make a relationship between the variables, dependent variable as well as the independent variable. Okay, that terms as a hypothesis. So, in the hypothesis, it is an assumption statement that we wanted to prove. After this hypothesis, we will move to the uh, sampling. Sampling is nothing but so, it is a subset of population or a, a limited number of population. entire population we cannot conduct a study. So, we will take out a uh, sample means like a subset, a small amount of people we will be taking and we will go for a sampling. So, there we will make a control group and experimental group and the sampling usually will be a random sampling. So, here we will give an equal chance for everyone to participate. So, like a lottery method, we will put the name of the people and we will take the lottery like a lot loads we are taking. So, that means it gives equal chance to everyone. Then we will make a control group, experimental group. After that, we will go for a data collection and data analysis. So, that is a experimental method. And if you come to the merits of this method, so here exactly we can make that control over the people or control over the subject we will be having and we will get a direct value exact value we will be getting, it can be repeated at any time and in the uh, experimental we can say that it, the numerical data we will be getting and it can be easily for the analysis. And the disadvantage if you see, it is an expensive method because we may require control over the subject that means uh, uh, laboratory setting we may require, so it may be coming as an expensive method. Come to the next one, case study method or case history method. This is one of the common method we are using in the healthcare setup, the nurses, doctors and all usually we are using this method. So, we can say it is a scientific biography of person or 
scientific biography of individual here we'll make entire detail of the patient start from the identification data and or their health history all the details will be included in the psychology setup if you see it may be usually related to their relationship or it may be their fantasy or childhood habits behavior everything will be making in this particular method and the advantage we'll get all the details from regarding the patient and it may be useful for uh, diagnosing and treatment for the patient and the disadvantage it may be mainly focusing on the memory so all the correct information sometimes we may not be getting because if the patient uh, uh, forgetting some of the things so we won't get that correct information come to the next one survey method survey method we can say within a limited time from a large population we will get the we can collect the information that is a survey method we are using a certain technique like questionnaire rating scale inventories to collect the information within a short period from a large people we can collect the information that is one of the main advantage of this particular method come to the last one genetic method or developmental method so here from the birth to death each developmental period we will be collecting the information we will be having certain uh, psychological growth and development related to the person the expected growth and development we can assess by this particular method and this is the main advantage of this one and the disadvantage if you see that is nothing but the it is a time consuming method so hope you are understood regarding that uh, methods of psychology so thank you for watching this video